Now, I have been carrying my golf bag behind me there for years, but now I'm seriously thinking of getting a trolley. I'm finding that carrying all this weight, I know it's healthy for me, but it's sometimes draining me of valuable energy that I could be putting into my golf game, especially towards the end of a round where I really need to concentrate, and definitely in the winter months. Add to that, a bit of a dodgy back, and it really has made my mind up that a trolley is a prudent investment. Now, if you're in the same boat as me, let's today look at all the factors that you need to consider when getting a trolley, whilst at the same time showing you some of the different options that are out there. Now, of course, you might also just be upgrading your current trolley to take advantage of some of the latest features and technology now available. There are so many, like built-in GPS, for instance. It's extremely cool. There's detailed course information and distances displayed right there on your trolley for whatever course you're playing on. Or for golfers that play on hilly courses, they might be upgrading to a trolley with an automatic braking system for more control and safety on downhill sections. Or you might just be deciding to treat yourself to that top of the range trolley that you've always wanted. Now, if that's the case, carry on watching as there might be something in here you've missed. But let's just say you're like me and you're just at the starting point where you're open to the whole world of trolleys on Golf Fitter. So let's get going on figuring out which one is the right one for you. Now a really good starting point is to set a budget for yourself and try and stick to it. Manual trolleys that you push and pull yourself, well they're for the most part more budget friendly while electric trolleys that require little or no energy on your part on the golf course, well, they tend to be a bit more expensive as they have integrated technology and they can have lots of extras that we'll get into a little bit later. So your budget, if it's high, well it will automatically either leave every trolley option open to you or if it's low it'll eliminate and immediately a whole section of your options. Your next consideration is to decide on whether to invest in an electric trolley or to go with something more basic like a manual trolley. Now an electric trolley will undoubtedly save you energy on the golf course and it will leave you to focus fully on your game. Like how many times have you had a good score going only to get a bit tired and finish with a couple of one pointers? Electric trolleys are obviously going to be excellent in this regard, especially so on hilly courses. But I find too that they really come into their own in tougher golfing weather conditions, wind or rain, where you really want to keep your clubs and your hands and your gloves organized and dry. You have no trolley to push, you can concentrate on holding your umbrella or just slip your gloved hand into a dry mitt or pocket. The only input you really need with an electric trolley is to steer it. Manual trolleys, on the other hand, are generally more simple in design. In general, they all have broadly similar features and the differences between cheaper and more expensive manual trolleys generally boils down to build quality or specific design features. And one of those design features is how many and what size wheels you need to have on your manual trolley. The general rule of thumb is that more wheels means more stability. So for instance, if you play on a hilly golf course, you should consider a four wheel manual trolley. And the wheels on manual trolleys also vary in size from standard small to quite large actually. Bigger wheels have a bigger circumference and they're generally easier to push. So, depending on how flat your golf course is, you could consider these. Now I'm at the boot of my car and it reminds me of another important factor to consider when deciding on the right trolley for you, and that is the size of the trolley, not when it's fully extended and upright, but when it's folded for transport, there can be a big difference between the sizes of folded trolleys, but especially electric trolleys. Some fold long and flat, while others fold more into a cube shape. So do be aware of how much boot space you have when selecting an electric trolley, especially as this will be a very important factor in deciding which trolley is right for you. And then there's the cool stuff, the technology options. 
Really, with every season that goes by, the technology advances, they just keep on coming. And some of the specific areas where you'll see this is in GPS and mapping. And that has benefited from advances in technology so much. You can get trolleys with the GPS unit built into the handles with detailed information displayed clearly on built-in screens. And if you want to look at a full detailed map of the hole you're playing on the screen, you can. Or if you want yardages to front, middle, back of the green, you can get that too. It's all there. Most electric trolleys, they also have a USB port to allow you to charge your mobile phone whilst out on the course, which is very handy. Most too have automatic distance control, which allows to set a specific distance for the trolley to travel before shutting itself off. That is really great if you're heading into the trees maybe to look for a partner's ball. Remote controls too are just starting to become more popular and available in the top end models. So there is great technology out there in trolleys but it does come at a price so do be aware of that. Now if your home course is quite hilly, or the courses you tend to play are hilly, then safety on downhill sections is also a consideration. Manual trolleys will often have a brake lever, just like on a bicycle, which will lock and keep the trolley safely in place. And on some higher end electric trolleys, you can now get models with automatic braking, and these will remain in the same place whether they're going up or down hills, rather than gravity overpowering them. So, if your golf course is hilly, have a think about safety and braking before you purchase. Now with electric trolleys, the age old question of how long does the battery last is still very pertinent. Now there have been great improvements in battery technology, the size, the charging speed in recent years, but you still have two options generally, a standard battery or an extended or ultra battery. Now, Note, all the batteries which come with trolleys on golf fitter, they're lithium and they're simply the best in battery technology for golf. But a standard battery is designed to do one round or 18 holes before needing a charge. Now, if you're a Sunday golfer, i.e. you play once a week and you don't mind charging after the round, then a standard battery will be fine for you. But if you often play two rounds in succession, maybe you're away from home, an ultra or extended battery will be more suitable for you as it it will be capable of covering 36 holes before needing a recharge. And let's quickly talk about accessories that are available on trolleys that you might need to consider. And the first of these is an umbrella holder. On a wet day, you can slot your umbrella into the holder in a position that will keep you and your clubs under the canopy, which is very handy indeed. Uh, also, we also mentioned already that tr trolleys can have uh, built-in GPS displays, but some, instead of GPS, have device holders to allow you to easily access your rangefinder or your phone during the round. Drink and scorecard holders, they're also very handy to have and look out for on your trolley too. And you can get trolley travel bags to keep the boot of your car clean and free from grass that might fall off your trolley. And the final consideration when choosing a new trolley is how will it work with my current bag or will you need a new bag to go with your new trolley? Well, in general, trolleys will come with straps to secure your current bag in place. However, if you, like me, only have a standard bag and you're buying your first trolley, whilst it will sit on there fine, you might want to consider a specialized trolley bag option. These are designed specifically with a flat back to sit squarely on the trolley with the pockets then on the front and the sides. They're generally a bit bigger. The club section often has dividers and they're more sturdy too as being lightweight to carry was not a consideration for these bags. So there you go, some of the options you might need to consider when buying a trolley. We have a huge range at Golf Bidder, from simple manual trolleys to the high-end technology laden ones. If you enjoy this video, please do press like and subscribe to the Golf Bidder YouTube channel and follow us across Facebook, Twitter and Instagram to keep up to date with the very latest. For me for now though, it's Donal out.